This beginning level recorded class is designed for clinical team members. This class demonstrates how to acquire cephalometric images using the CS8100 SC imaging systems. By the end of this class, you should understand the cephalometric acquisition interface and be able to access the cephalometric acquisition interface, acquire a lateral cephalometric image, acquire an anterior to posterior cephalometric image, select acquisition interface settings, and position a patient. Note, the CS8100SC can be used to take oblique, submento vertex, and carpus images. See the user guide for these options. Note, for the carpus, you will need a dedicated accessory. See the user guide for more information. Important, after each use of the unit, disinfect any parts that may have come into contact with the patient. See the user guide for your imaging system for information about disinfecting and maintaining equipment. Overview. Information button. Show versions. Identify software and firmware versions. Resetting anatomy setting. Resets the manufacturing perimeter settings. Memorize anatomy setting. Memorizes the user preference settings for each patient type, KV, MA, and seconds. Preview screen. Displays the acquired acquisition frames. Selected perimeter display. Displays the current acquisition perimeter settings. System status screen displays alert or warning messages originating from the unit. Generator cooling indicator indicates the automatic cooling time required before the next acquisition. X-ray dose displays the dose that will be emitted during each acquisition. Reset button resets the unit to the patient entry position. Parallel position button leaves more free space around the unit when it is not in use by placing the rotative arm in a position parallel to the unit head. X-ray on-off button enables or disables x-ray emission. Ready indicator LED. Green indicates the unit is ready to start acquisition. Black indicates the unit is not ready to start acquisition. Exit button closes the acquisition interface. X-ray emission indicator. Yellow indicates the x-ray emission status. Selector button selects acquisition setting options. Click program to select examination type options. Click patient to select patient type options. Click Parameters to select Exposure Parameter Options. The program pane is used to choose the different radiological exams and acquisition formats. Radiological Options. Click Lateral Image to acquire a lateral exam. Click AP Image to acquire an anterior to posterior exam. Click PA Image to acquire a posterior to anterior exam. Click Oblique Image to acquire an oblique exam. Click Submento Vertex Image to acquire a Submento Vertex Exam. Click Carpus Image to acquire a Carpus Exam. Acquisitions Format Options. Select the 18 by 18 icon to acquire an 18 by 18 format. Select the 18 by 24 icon to acquire an 18 by 24 format. Select the 26 by 24 icon to acquire a 26 by 24 format. Not available on Access Version Units. Select the Fast Scan icon for a quick exam. Select the HR icon to acquire a higher resolution exam for more precision. In the patient pane, select the patient type according to the patient's jaw size. The selection automatically adjusts the KVMA output and time of exposure and determines the trajectory length. Choose from the following patient types. Child, adult with small jaw, adult with medium jaw, adult with large jaw. Select here to fine-tune KV. KV sets the penetration power of X-ray photons through the body. A higher bone density requires higher KV. A higher KV provides lower contrast in the resulting image. Select here to fine-tune MA. MA sets the number of X-ray photons released from the X-ray tube. Increasing MA will not provide more penetrating power or lower X-ray contrast. However, it will provide an image that is darker overall. To memorize these values as the defaults for the patient type you have selected, Click the I button and select Memorize Anatomy Settings. Accessing the interface. On your desktop, double click the Dental Imaging icon or the CSOI icon to open the imaging software. Then, click the Ceph icon to access the Cephalometric Acquisition Interface. Acquiring a Lateral Cephalometric Image. Position the head clamps manually for the type of exam you are performing. In the cephalometric acquisition window, click the Program button to access the Program pane. In the Program pane, select the button for a lateral exam. 
Select the appropriate acquisition format size. Select Fast Scan for a quick exam or select HR for a higher resolution exam. Note, 26 by 24 field of view does not come with a CS8100 SC access. It can be purchased separately. Select the patient button to access the patient pane. Select the patient type and size. Select the patient type, child, small, medium, or large. If the default KV, MA, and second setting are not correct for your patient type, click the parameter button and select the appropriate parameters. Select here to fine tune KV. Select here to fine tune MA. Acquiring a lateral cephalometric image, positioning the patient. Clean the ear cones with alcohol wipes and cover them with plastic sheaths, if available. Before the patient enters the machine, ask the patient to remove any metal objects above the neck, including jewelry, glasses, hearing aid, prostheses, and metal hair clips. Place the lead apron on the patient and instruct the patient to stand next to the unit. To adjust the machine to the patient's height, use the Height Adjustment button and move the machine to the correct height. If the patient is tall, have the patient sit on a stool and then adjust the machine accordingly. After the machine is at the correct height, open the head clamps and instruct the patient to step into the machine. Slowly close the head clamps to stabilize the patient's head. Lower the nasion support to a vertical position and align the patient's head on the Frankfurt plane. If needed, you can use the Frankfurt positioning indicator as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient's head for a Frankfurt plane horizontal alignment. Check that the nasion support is well placed. Acquiring a Frontal AP Cephalometric Image, Acquisition Interface Settings. Position the head clamps parallel to the cephalometric sensor by turning the clamps to the left. In the Cephalometric Acquisition window, select the Program button to access the Program pane. In the Program pane, select the button for a Frontal Anterior to Posterior AP exam. Select the appropriate acquisition format size. Note, 26 by 24 field of view does not come with a CS8100 SE access. It can be purchased separately. Select the patient button to access the patient pane. Select the patient type and size. Select the patient type, child, small, medium, or large. If the default KV, MA, and second setting are not correct for your patient type, click the parameter button and select the appropriate parameters. Select here to fine tune KV. Select here to fine tune MA. Acquiring a frontal anterior to posterior cephalometric image, positioning the patient. Position the head clamps by turning the clamps to the left. Open the head clamps. Ask the patient to stand up straight in front of the cephalometric unit in the following position. For a frontal AP, facing the generator. For a frontal PA, facing the cephalometric sensor. After the machine is at the correct height, open the head clamps and instruct the patient to step into the machine. Slowly close the head clamps to stabilize the patient's head. Lower the nasion support to a vertical position and align the patient's head on the Frankfurt plane. If needed, you can use the Frankfurt positioning indicator as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient's head for a Frankfurt plane horizontal alignment. Check that the nasion support is well placed.
Instruct the patient to remain still, bite on the occlusion, breathe through the nose, place the tongue on the palate, and do not swallow during acquisition. Exit the room and acquire the image. After the acquisition is complete, return to the room, open the head clamps, and help the patient exit the machine. To ensure the machine is ready for the next patient, press the reset button on the control panel. This button returns the unit to the home position. Now you should understand the cephalometric acquisition interface and be able to access the cephalometric acquisition interface. Acquire a lateral cephalometric image, acquire an anterior to posterior cephalometric image, select acquisition interface settings, and position a patient. Thank you. If you have any comments or questions about this content, contact us and reference the content code located in the lower right corner of this slide.